Hi, hey, what's going on, everybody? Good morning, 721 in the morning, Thursday, as I begin this, as we begin this, this journey that we embark upon together. Shout out to each and every one of y'all. Thank you for taking the time to check out these videos. I truly hope you find some interest in all of this. I, I know it can be monotonous, but you know, every day, even though we do the same thing every day, just paint apartments, every day it's always something new with the ups and downs and all of that shit. But all right. Anyways, today is going to be all over the map day. We got property four, we got property five, and we've got property 10. And all of those, uh, all of those apartments are in just different areas. It's going to be a very wide and vast triangular pattern to say the least. My wife also has our last doctor's appointment today for our son. Um, and she's supposed to go like any day now. My son's gonna be here any day. And man, oh man, is that gonna be just amazing. But for the time being, hopeful that today is gonna go well. So again, four, five, and 10, those are the properties we're gonna be working at today. It's my hope to have other, another new guy and other other another new guy over at property five Bo and jess over at property four donald milton and naji over at property 10 god i hope that's the right call to make property 10 there's another unit going over there we've still got to finish out loading out and re uh putting back together re-putting back together the guest suite which I hate doing that. You would think I would be somewhat proficient with that considering I used to have get gone moving and hauling. But hey, when it comes time to being done with that or prepping to get the painting man and throw everything in the center of the room and when we're done, hey, just put it back some kind of a way. We ain't no interior designers. And plus I didn't charge enough for that type of party anyways. I only charged $100 for the prep work, so. So what else? Oh, I want to start this off with a very important topic, possibly even the title of this video. And that is, I talk too damn much. Now, a lot of you will agree with that statement right there, or some may. And I don't mean in relation to these videos, even though I can get quite long-winded with these. But I talk too damn much, and could that come to bite me in the ass? It probably will, because truthfully told truth be told it already has in the past now i don't want to go too deep with this because it doesn't even really matter at this point trust me when i tell you there was a time a long time many times when i thought about expounding upon this story that i'm going to share with you indirectly i want to share i want to share a little bit of a story from the past that will culminate to what I'm talking about just yesterday that took place. A few times in my life, I found myself saying too much to the wrong person who would end up turning into the ops and also the cops. I mean, the comp, a titian, right? Many, many years ago, there was a, <laughs> there was, there's a story from many years ago. When I met somebody who I would, Spill my fucking guts to, basically, about everything that I do with YouTube. Now, trust me when I tell you that this is a very intricate story with a lot of components. But the short of it is, I spilled my guts to a person who ended up being the wrong person. Because that person would, in turn, copy everything that I do, did, with After Prison Show, start a competing channel, and basically take food out of my mouth, take food off of my plate the way that I felt about it back then. I've you know, mentioned time and again my flawed way of thinking about um, similar type of content creators, right? But that's exactly how that whole thing went. I met somebody, it was like I literally met them one time. We talked about what we do, what I do versus what they do or what they did during the time. And back during this time, I was doing exponentially well so fucking good uh, but anyways 
as I would spill my guts to this person, all they were doing was mentally calculating how they were going to do the same exact thing, which they would, they still do, and good for them, it worked out for them, and I just questioned to myself, like, where would they be at this point in their life had they never fucking met me that night and I never spilled my guts to them? Well, probably not doing what they do now. But anyways, enough about all of that. Fast forward five years later to yesterday. I'm in a unit painting some some touch I'm doing some touch up trim in one of the units we got called back on at property one uh, there's a cleaner in there a guy uh, he's got his own cleaning business I would find out we had a long conversation or basically I did I basically was just talking and talking and talking to this guy who probably in all likelihood is the wrong and worst person that I could be doing exactly what I did five years ago spilling my guts about the ins and outs of my YouTube success and how I made it. This was a master class I gave this dude in literally like two hours at a bar one night that, let, that, that literally paved the way for this person to be able to go and do what they do now. And I found myself doing the exact same thing yesterday with this guy who owns this cleaning business that is not doing all that well. He doesn't have enough help, so hence the fact that he's in there doing the cleans. Uh, at least that's what it seems like to me. Maybe I could be wrong in that uh, observation because here I am, the owner of my business, in there doing the work also. But I'm sitting here spilling the ins and outs of my painting business and how successful it is. Telling this guy things along the lines because we related... Let me back up a second. We related on a lot of different things. We're both business owners. We've both had multiple business ventures and things like that. I told him that I used to have a cleaning business. He told me that he has a business consulting business, which basically either helps businesses, or at least that's what the premise of that was. And, you know, I probably should have picked up on this little tidbit, but I didn't because I just kept going and going and going and kept fucking talking. But as he's telling me that one of his businesses was this business consulting business where he's supposed to help other businesses, one of the other businesses that he was supposed to be helping, how many times can Joe say businesses, was this little old lady who had a cleaning business who he would end up just taking the cleaning business from. He saw the model and he took it. Now, I say from time to time that I'm transparent with the business, how much money the business is generating and how much I'm charging with, for the units and everybody knows the pay scale and all of that. But maybe it's me being so transparent that left me vulnerable to be... And I guess the reason why, and I hate the way this is about to sound, but I'm just calling it for what it is. The reason why I would be so transparent about it is because I knew and know that nobody has the money that I have that can back what it takes to go months and months without getting paid. When you're spending $1,000 plus, $1,400 plus per day in labor almost every single day of the week. You know, I did the math. If Bo and Jess make, and I'm getting off track, but I want to just share all these little tidbits real quick. If Bo and Jess are making $300 a day combined, that is $2,100 a week if they work seven days a week, and sometimes they do. $2,100 a week, that is over $8,000 a month. That is damn good money. But anyways, I would be so forthright to share so much of the ins and outs of the painting business because I always felt like, and I wasn't feeling this like any kind of egotistical way, it was just facts. Like, yo, I've put over $100,000 into this painting business or close to that. This business has generated in, in invoices received, payments received, or maybe it's invoices plus payments received. I'm at like 130 in like seven months. 130,000. So I'm telling this cleaner dude, you know, because 
We talked about real estate. He's a flipper too. He's been in real estate. Like, I don't know how long his money is, is the point that I'm really trying to get to. But I'm telling him, yeah, you know, in seven months, I've already done a flip through this painting business. And again, hindsight being 2020, I'm just sitting here spilling all about this shit. How I'm going about finding workers. I'm asking him, how are you getting your cleaners? He's like, I'm getting them off of Indeed. I'm like, what? Who the fuck is getting cleaners off of Indeed? You best to go find them off of Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace or, you know, Facebook. I said, I see posts every day from people saying, hey, I need cleaners. And 20 people respond to that shit. Talking about you getting resumes. The fuck? I literally gave this dude a master class yesterday. And this dude probably has the means to an end to sit here and be my fucking competition. And why wouldn't he be, right? My only competition is a company that not only paints but also cleans. He knows that company. He's also in with this same company that I'm doing this work for painting. So it would be nothing for him to just add to his resume, his repertoire. I've been using a lot of fucking masterclass words as of late. His arsenal. Painting. Did I just shoot myself in the foot talking too much again yesterday? It damn near ruined my YouTube career. When I think about major catastrophic mistakes that I made with YouTube, trust when I tell you that is probably close to number one. Even though there's no hate or animosity toward this other person who you probably already know who I'm talking about. But trust when I tell you that back when all of this took place, oh, there certainly was that. Did I just do the same thing that I did five years ago again yesterday? Talk too much to the wrong person who probably sat there and absorbed everything that I spilled like a fucking sponge. Now, I want to justify this real quick and just say this. I don't have anybody to talk to, right? So when I do find somebody who I can relate to, and, I, you know, no excuse. Joe, you just got to shut the fuck up. Uh, you know, here, here's a business owner. I had a cleaning business. I was doing flips. He was like, yo, I did the same thing. Like, I'm still doing it, kind of. And I'm like, holy shit. I'm not even thinking about the fact that this guy's money's probably long. Long enough to do this exact same thing. Short of it is, yeah, I probably fucked up. Anyways, just wanted to share. You guys let me know. Um, <clears throat> I'm on my way to property two right now. Going to get a unit loaded out. Go meet up with Bo and Jess over at property 10. And then make sure that that model unit, that guest suite is the way that it's supposed to be. And then move on because we got a whole lot of places to be at once. So, hey, good morning to you guys. Hope your day is starting off on a good foot. It's Thursday as I begin. This is a little dreary outside, a little dreary in my mind, thinking about that time just yesterday that I probably shot myself in the foot again, talking too goddamn much. All right, let's get the show on the road and see what kind of obstacles we're going to have to hurdle today. All right. Over here at property two, checking the unit. The other, another new guy and another, another new guy did. And one thing that I'm liking about the units that they're doing, I'm not really having issues with the units that they're doing. Uh, there's not been a lot of heavy spots on the wall that I'm seeing. A little bit of tape they forgot to get off. Nothing major. Yeah, I'm really liking the fact that these guys are getting in and getting the job done. They're working really well together. They like each other. Uh, so basically what they're making, same as anybody else, they're making 150 each to do these units. Um, these are two bedrooms. 
So I get $400 to do these and they make 150 each and I make a hundred. So it's a pretty fair exchange if you ask me. Everything looks pretty good. Cut line's a little less than admirable, but you know, no biggie. All right, in the back bedroom, everything's good. They're hitting the corners the way that I want the corners to be hit. Yeah, I'm really not having an issue with the work that these guys are doing. So I'm really appreciative of that. They're taking the time with the outlet plate covers, making sure those go back on. They're putting paint away. And it's supposed to happen. They're doing a good job. And I got no complaints. All right, let me get this unit loaded out and get over to property 10. All right, property five, where are my manners? I almost walked out of here without even filming. Um, Yeah, so just loaded all of this in, man, I swear. Doing this by yourself sucks, and I don't even have enough paint. That's the paint that I went and got yesterday. Hey, door. Hey, door. Hey, do me a favor. I'm trying to film. So shut the F up. Uh, got to get to the storage unit. Bo's got the key for that. Bo is already over at property 10. And I guess he's already talked to the maintenance guy over there. He says, uh, supposedly the maintenance guy says, hey, if you see the other painter over here, don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about that. I can't show you what I wanted to show you. It's bad. But um, he said, don't worry about that. He's just going to be in there trying to finish up a unit that they started and never finished. Uh, and supposedly that's the type of problems they're having with that other painter who no longer is going to be there because we're taking over. Sort of like a... DJ Kali song. Hey, Joe, what in the world, boy? Hey, you need a haircut, sticko. Damn, you need a haircut. Yeah, I know. It ain't gonna happen today, though. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. So I'm gonna have other, another other new guy and other other new guy in this unit, and hopefully they're gonna be able to handle this. But, you know, them getting these lollygagging type of starts in the morning time, I just can't appreciate that. Um... They've never been over here. I gotta kind of tell them, hey, this is what you gotta do. You gotta sand these walls first, you know, because this maintenance crew over at this property, they do prep these units for us to paint. So, anywho, let me get over to property 10 and see how we're looking over there and see what unit we've got going over there today as well. I don't know what the head jerk was all about. All right, so I'm just walking in the front door of the next unit over here at property 10, and I could have swore she told me this was a one bedroom. My game plan was to have Najee, Milton, and Donald on this unit, but I walk in through the front door and forgive the fire alarm with the dead battery. I walk in and I'm like, wait a minute, this motherfucker's big for a one bedroom. And then I realize, quickly as I knew I should, ain't no one bedroom. No siree, she sure ain't. We got one bedroom, ugly carpet. We got two bedrooms, ugly carpet. And then, folks, we've got three bedrooms. Ugly carpet. Yeah, man. Hey, that's right. I'm sure this carpet's going up out of here. I just got to get the word, though. Uh, and this is going to be expensive. So this is going to be 975 right here. And I'm going to have to have five people in here. Show shit, show enough. I got to have five people in here, which means I've got other, another new guy and other, another, other new guy over at property five. I've got Bo, Jess, Milton, Donald, Najee, the last of the Mohicans, all going to be in this unit, which means I got to go out to property four by my fucking self. Shit. Oh, well, hey, we got to do what we got to do. And it's a trim change out there as well. So, uh, you know, fun times at Ridgemont High. All right, anyways, let me go check on folks. I ain't never seen the black receptacle covers. Hey, them joints kind of flashy right there. Got the nice granite in here. Yeah, man. Nice property. I like this place a lot. This thing is fucking massive. All right, let me go break the hearts of these guys that, guess what? We're up against it again today. At least they got it a lot easier than I will. Damn, hey, I need that. Hey, shit. I know. Hey. And it's the baby trend. I have no idea what that is. Ah. 
Damn. I ought to ask them what they doing with this. How you, how you, how you, how you hold on. I might as well start trying to get familiar with this. Come on, Liam. Joe, you're going to break it. I'm not trying to break it. How do you? Oh, it's right there. All right. All right. Whoa. Hey. hey, man. Hey. That joint right there. Hey. That joint right there kind of nice. All right, so we're checking on the unit for today, and uh, that's how it's going to be, actually. That's how it's going to be. All right, don't nobody take my stroller now. It's like a little lawnmower, I imagine. Joe, you got any experience with kids? No, but I have cut grass for most of my life. I didn't mean to throw it into the wall like that. That was actually not what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna go ahead and park that zero turn right there. All right, let's go talk to the fellas. Real quick, there's also some shit up here, and I mean, I shouldn't be messing with this, but look at this. Yo, Sean Taylor, he got killed a couple, well, a lot of years ago during a robbery. I wouldn't imagine somebody would just be leaving all of this. What the hell is in here? Oh, there's something in this duffel right here. What is, oh man, it's all sorts of Redskins memorabilia. Hey. Oh yo, there's there's people's bank cards in here. Oh no. No, I, I need to take this up out of here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Did they even walk this unit? That's the Sean Taylor thing. What's this? Make sure. Yeah, we are fucked for today. Let me tell you, well, I am. Surely I am. <sighs> I'm just staring out the window. I'm gonna come do the unit by myself. That's what the thinking on this was. All right, anyways, I'm not sure if I shared with you guys that I was gonna have to come do a unit by myself today because of the fact that Bo, Jess, and I was gonna need five people over at property 10. I was gonna go over to property four. I knew it was a vaulted unit and um, holy shit, what have I just gotten myself into? So if I thought the unit at property fucking 10 was massive, well, folks, it ain't got nothing on this. I remember when I first took on this property, I looked on their website trying to see the different types of floor plans. I remember when I first took on this property, they told me there's only 200 units here and there's over 20 different types of floor plans. And I remember when I looked on their website after I took on this property, I saw a floor plan that had a banister handrail right there, that thing right there. And I never saw it until now. What in the fuck is this joint goes on forever, man? What the world, man? Like, this is bigger than property three. It surely, I mean, this thing is nice to be on it first and foremost he told me uh, oh yeah it's just a touch-up hey I need you to come do a unit okay uh, he ain't want to mention to me how big this bitch was look at this shit man you're coming through the front door and boom there's a staircase right here uh, this is a trim change color change no color change on the walls carpet's definitely staying carpet looks fucking pristine look at all this trim that's got to get changed Yo, handrail, it's got to get changed. Banister, got to get changed. 
Look at how the paint goes. Like they just said, you know what? We got high enough. We ain't getting no higher than that. Yo, we are easily 25 feet in the air by the time you get up to there. I don't know, maybe not that high, but 20 feet all day long. Is that a fucking wall anchor? Like who, or is that a spy cam? It's certainly a wall anchor. Who the hell put something way up there? Gosh almighty. Look at this little freaking bathroom. Wow. A master bath with this dumb ass. Oh, that is stupid. Stupid, that is. Whoo, boy, hey, this joint is going to take me forever. Now, oh, man, and that's loose as shit. Yikes. I can't even imagine the type of paint that he left me in here. Like, look at all those bumps up there. I don't even know what I'm charging for this. This is, you know, this changes everything right here. Originally, I was charging $650 for this, but there's no fucking way I'm doing this for anything less than a stack of roof. Look at this bathroom. This is nice. Er. Yeah, man, it's a full-on $1,000 unit right here, and I don't care, man. She big. She big dog, big marks everywhere. How much paint did you put in here for me? She ain't even seen. This ain't even a full five. You gave me a, a piece of a five. There's no way. I mean, this is all pieces. So I got, and it's balanced beige in this joint. Okay. So is everything just semi-gloss? Cause there's no way it is. There's no way that's semi-gloss. That's eggshell all day. Matter of fact, semi-gloss, that's semi. That's certainly semi. That's not semi. I can feel that and tell that ain't semi. We got to have a phone call ASAP. Talk about this one. Yeah. We got to talk about this one. So he wants me to just touch it up, right? But there's no way it's eggshell. I mean, there's no way it's semi-gloss. It's eggshell all day. This is a, uh, this gonna be a, a motherfucker. Whew, she surely is. Surely, surely is. All right, let me figure this whole thing out and get with you in a little bit. Oh, and real quick, what I really wanted to flex with was the damn cart, man. Look at this thing, boy. Hey, I brought the cart out here today and I needed it. Yeah, man. Hit one little Instagram joint. Wow. However they do that. I don't know how they do it, actually. But anyways, you see the car. She's loaded down. She's got everything that I'm going to need on it. Uh, but one thing it's, you'll notice that's not on there is another painter, which <laughs> if I had another painter, all they would do is complain about this. So anyways, let's get to it. I got to call this guy and say, hey, uh, what are we doing here? All right, starting to get prepping. Probably been prepping for about 10 minutes right now. So basically what you'll see is I'll just put the tape over it like this and I'll come back with the knife and I'll cut it out. Cut it out everywhere it needs to be. So yeah, cut it out everywhere it needs to be at. Do the hinge parts last. I'm trying to capture some hell of footage here. Yeah. Hey. Hope you can see and hear me okay. All right, so it's my hope to have this unit prepped in, a, in about an hour. I guess an hour would be a good time to shoot for to have this thing totally prepped and that does not include deglossing. And I'm gonna try to shoot this trim without deglossing it first. I mean, the doors and trim. If I can do that and it doesn't start separating on me, we're good, and if I can't, and I've got to stop and degloss, then well, obviously that's just going to add to the time it's going to take me to get this done. So, a couple of things I want to share with you. I did talk with the maintenance guy over here, and I told him that this was an extraordinary unit. Uh, so, of course, the price is going to go up on this one. 
Oh wow, the water heater is right there. That's crazy. He just wants me to touch it up. I did go find the eggshell paint. I'll go this way. I need to get on the back side of that door, but I'll keep kicking with y'all for just a second. So I did find the eggshell paint. I told him, I said, look, you know, you want to do a touch up in here. I said, the chances of this actually touching up are slim to fucking none. I said, and if it doesn't touch up, that's extra as well. This unit is big. That's extra. Uh, bigger than we've seen. And he was totally fine with all of that. So I also told him this unit probably is not going to be done until tomorrow morning because you guessed it. That's extra. No, I'm kidding. Uh, because it's fucking huge. And God only knows what we're up against in here. I mean, I already got an idea. I already got an idea that this is going to be a nightmare unit. But hopefully it's not. It's crazy that we got two big ass color changes going on today. And I'm doing one by myself. That's how you know you're a boss. That's how you know you own a, a business. No, I'm kidding. When you work super hard, harder than the guys that you pay to work hard, and you make less than they make, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Joe. Joe business sense. Doesn't normally make sense, does it? All right, but anyways, other things to share with you, other developments. Folks, I would hear from Property One. Now, mind you, I've got some late invoices with Property One, and guess what? Um, I billed them for the, the hallways job, and we're still finding things to complain about about the hallways job. So, you know, take it as a loss, I guess, at this point. I really, and it, so basically she messaged me and she says, hey, I just got a chance to walk the uh, walk the hallway and there's some things that are missed. Well, we've talked about this numerous times. You don't got the right fucking paint and truthfully, I'm tired of dealing with it at this point. I will take it as the 1750 loss that it's gonna end up being, I mean, am I even gonna get paid for this thing? Is that why my invoices are late? Cause y'all don't wanna pay me for the hallway job? Are we trying to make sure that that budget comes in the way that it needs to right at the end of the year? You know that's what this is, right? You're not trying to pay me because you gotta hit that budget. Whatever the fucking deal is with that. So I'm tired of the nitpicking. She never mentioned the door again. I want to hit her back and say, hey, how did that door dry? Because as much as I've been talking about, they're probably going to get ready to drop us. I'm back to feeling like, fuck them, and I'm ready to drop them again. I know that's crazy, right? But I swear, these people be playing with the money, and I ain't got time for that. They owe me three, there's, I think, three invoices, two of which are late. Just get paid. But you're not going to do that. Because you're trying to hit that Christmas fucking bonus is what you're trying to do. While talking with the cleaner yesterday, who I talked way too much to, one of the things that I mentioned to him as we found yet another thing to be able to relate on, which was not getting paid. I said, you know, this is a great company to work for because they own all of the apartments. I said, you know, you would love to work for this company. I said, and you know, they ain't wrong for what they're doing, not fucking paying us. And as a matter of fact, and as a matter of fact, it's hot here. They're actually geniuses. It's a genius business strategy, right? You bring in the most, you pay out the least. Fuck your vendors, right? Fuck them. Vendors are a dime a dozen or so. The theory would be thought. The theory would be thought. Or so you would think, right? Fuck them. They'll wait, because what else are they going to do? They're not going to sue, because then they would lose the work. Which, you think I'm going to sue these folks? Hell no. The lawyers they probably got... They're going to make you look like, they're going to make you look real dumb up in that courtroom. All 
I continue on, I'll shut up now. Um, I'm shooting for about five minutes per door in terms of prep time. I don't think I'm too far off the mark with that. It's funny when I, well, I still gotta go back and cut out this tape, so don't feel like I'm doing this in any kind of real speed. Cutting out this tape is gonna take a little bit. It ain't gonna take long, but it's gonna add probably another five minutes per door. So you're probably looking at 10 minutes a door, and it's probably, oh, I don't know, 100 doors in this unit. But it's just what you gotta do. Somebody told me yesterday they hate prepping. I said, well, if you hate prepping, hey, stick, you in the wrong line of work. Because this is all a part of the job. All right, 11.41, and I've literally just got everything all cut the way that I want it and prepped for upstairs. Hey, Joe, we're about to get into it. And so I'm gonna do all the trim upstairs, right? And the trim upstairs is really kind of a motherfucker because you got this handrail, and then you got this, and you got this, and you got all that. So I figure, hey, if I can get out of this upstairs, Boy, that is half the battle right there. It's not going to be easy. Matter of fact, there's some other things I'm going to need as well. I'm going to need the bucket. I'm going to need to clean off shields. I'm going to need, I'm going to need, I'm going to need. Yeah. So, I wish I had like smaller drops. And what I use for smaller drops, like really, really small drops is what I'm saying. What I use for that at times is rags. I'll literally put rags around door casing and shit, but because I don't have that, I am gonna take a drop upstairs with me. Another drop upstairs with me. And I think we're good to go. All right, let's just go ahead and get into this because I'm very curious to see, is this shit gonna separate? And I got a couple of little things pointing to yes and if that happens then I got to stop and degloss and I'm really hoping I don't have to do that put you guys right there for the time being so I brought the broom up as well all right let's clear the line clear the line shit I had a dust mask got that right there yep All right, how you going? How you going to be? Are you going to be friendly or not friendly? That is the question.
Oh my god. Whew. Oh shit, let the pop the plug. All right, two o'clock in the afternoon, 153, and I'm literally just getting done with this upstairs. And I gotta be honest with you, holy shit. This took probably an hour, easily. And then coming down these stairs took every bit of at least 45 minutes. What a fucking pain in the ass all of this was. Still gotta get right there. I fucked up, painted the top, and well, painted myself into a box. So the good news is, is I'm downstairs now, but I mean, I'm still up against it. I still got to tape and cut tape and deal with all that shit. And, oh man, I just walked underneath that ladder. Gosh, almighty, rewind that whole action. Okay, boom, fixed all that. Yeah, whoo. So in the time that I've been over here, we got a call back for a unit that we did over here. I went and looked at it. It's nothing major. They don't, they're okay with us getting it to it tomorrow they know this one's gonna take a long time i mean look at this like look at what the hell i'm up against in here the biggest unit yet for sure so let's see two to four my hope is to get Bo and jess over here by like five five thirty six and have like i don't know maybe that's the case maybe i'm getting out of here at five thirty six I don't know. I've, I've literally got one light. So let me finish doing all this trim and we'll see where we're at. It's going to be every bit of 430 by that point. Two and a half more hours to do all this trim. I am going to spray all of the base down here instead of hand painting it. We'll just test that theory. If that works out, that works out. If it doesn't, oh shit. All right, let's continue on. All right, 4.32 in the afternoon, and all the doors are done. Um, I got a little bit of casing right here I got to hit. I'm going to hit all the trim back there. I got a little bit of trim to hit in here. And like I said, all the doors are done. And it's just a little more trim out here. And then the back side of that handrail right there. And then I get to go back upstairs and do it all over again. Yeah fun times so the good news is we haven't made a mess you know joe uh professional paint god you know do it do it right get it done and do it right that's what it is keep the mess minimal i've only used about uh about three gallons so far i told him i needed 10 gallons 10 more gallons which he brought to me i'm real tired of hearing that ladder bumping on that wall been listening to that all day fucking annoying <sighs> but yeah uh it was hot now it's starting to cool off it's starting to get dark like oh we're fighting the light uh, fighting fighting the light damn i didn't spray that so well i'm about to hit that one more time uh fighting lighting is what i'm doing with one light here's some of my mess right here so I'm going to stay in here until Bo and Jess get here. Bo and Jess are going to get here pretty soon. I'm going to go up. I'm going to hit all of this trim. Before I leave, I'll hit all of this trim. I'm going to hit the back side of that. And I'll probably start hitting upstairs coming down again. When they get here, the only thing that's going to be left to do is touch up the walls, uh, which will be a little bit of work. They're going to spray touch up, which God, I hope they don't make a mess because it can turn into one real quickly now. Uh, spray touch up the walls and do the bathrooms because the bathrooms need to be hit and really that's about it There's not a whole hell of a lot that I'm gonna have them doing up in here besides helping me finish this unit and folks the grand total price tag that I'm putting on this unit is $800 that's right folks. This is a rush job um, That right there a hey, that joint right there is extra all day Ships like that, staircases, I'm charging an extra 150 for staircases. There's just too much to them. Between that and between all this that goes up and turns and there's a whole piece right there, extra 150 all day. So 800 or maybe 850, let's just call it 850. We'll say the handrail and the staircase, that's 150. The rush job, that's an extra 50, so that's 200. And we're gonna call this unit uh, 600 in total just 
because it's a two bedroom and it's massive. So 850 is what this is gonna be. Yeah, anyways, let me stop talking because I talk too much. Finish this day up and share with you the conclusion. Alrighty, hey, 5.44 in the afternoon and I didn't get all the trim done in the unit. Bo and Jess would show up and they would take over and paying them to get that unit done. So I'm giving them an additional $300 to finish that unit on top of what they made for today. They made $160 a piece plus $300. It's pretty damn good money right there. That's three twenty. I mean, that's $620 for a day. They, they're crushing but they're also working their ass off and you know they they deserve the money that they're making they work hard for that money um <clears throat> hopefully they're going to get that unit done and it's going to come out really good it has to come out really good so tomorrow i think we got uh three units going i don't even know where my book's at right this second i've had so many pro well two i think two properties reach out with additional units it was property uh what was it? It was property seven and it was property two. And then property one would also reach out to me on some bullshit and we'll go address that situation tomorrow where I gotta, we gotta, we gotta have a talk. You know, obviously they must be getting ready for something. I know the president of the company is coming. We just painted the unit where he's going to be staying at, at property 10 and I can't wait for them to be able to see that unit because we did a really good job. The team did a really good job on that unit. Um, so I'm sure that all these properties are getting ready for this presidential visit. But I am getting fucking annoyed with all the nitpicking. And I mean, it really is nitpicking. You, you messaged me yesterday about a fucking door that was, that was still wet. Damn, let the damn door dry. And then today it was about the hallway job that, you know, I shared about earlier. So whatever, tomorrow we'll cross that bridge and see what's going on over there and hopefully smooth things out. Um, one final thing I want to share. My wife is a centimeter dilated. She went to her doctor's appointment today. My son's on the way. That's awesome. But what I was going to say was, other than other, other new guy and other, other new guy, they're busting out units. They did a, a unit over property five today. No sweat. They got that unit knocked out. I didn't appreciate the fact that other, other new guy would hit me up and say, hey, we've been done with that unit for a while now. Well, how long have you been? There? Oh, well, you know, we got done with it about 30, 45 minutes ago. Well, damn, you should have called me. And it was almost making me feel like, damn, maybe they felt guilty like they got the unit done too quickly. And that's, there's nothing to be guilty of feeling about that. You know, that's what it is. If you can bust out these units, you're getting the money that I'm paying you. And they get $150 each to do the unit. So it's damn good money when you're getting that unit done in six hours. Damn, my eyes suck so bad. I can't freaking see. And I need to get over. Just get over. Mm. Not sure what that was all about. It ain't got nothing to do with me, though. I do need to get over one, though. I want to tell you this story. I want to tell you this story. All right. All right, come on, dude. I know you got to get over it. I'm, I'm trying to let you in. I'm trying to let you in, dude. I'm trying to let you in, buddy. There we go. It's Christmas time. All right, so here's the story. Um, what was the story again? Like, I had a whole... Oh, I guess the story was... I guess it's not as much of a story as I thought that it was now that I think about it. 
You know, I was feeling a certain kind of a way, feeling a little slighted, a little disrespected by other and other, other new guy. And the fact that, wow. And the fact that, you know, we have a very, we don't, we have a lack of communication. It's not just with him neither. There's somebody else as well. One of my, you know, guys who have been with me for a while, um, we're having this little lack of communication issue that I am not appreciating. And like when it comes to other, another, other new guy, I'll hit him up in the morning. Hey, you know, be here at eight 30. He won't respond. Then I got to hit him back like 10, 15 minutes later. Yo, just trying to confirm. Are you working today? You're going to be at the place that I told you to be. Okay. Yeah. One word responses. Don't like that. So then that's, I guess, why I was feeling slighted is because when other, other new guy called me and said, hey, we've been done with that unit for like 30 or 45 minutes. Well, other, another, other new guy hadn't called me at all. Like, are you going to let me know that y'all got the unit done or are we just not going to talk? Like, are we not talking for some reason? Like, I really am not liking that. And I, it may be making a mountain out of a molehill, and it really is. I actually fired a guy, not fired, but just stopped working a guy because I didn't like his attitude. And I'm not talking about Jose neither. His attitude was piss poor as well. But there was this other guy, I can't even remember his name at this point. Alex was his name, actually. Just didn't like his attitude. He had this condescending type of prickish attitude. And I stopped working him because of that. Well, with this guy, other than other, other new guy, a little bit of the same with the attitude but he is a damn good worker. And you gotta pick and choose your battles. As a business owner, you've got to pick and choose your battles, okay? But like I had said, I had the same situation happen with another person, a veteran of mine, who just fucking disappeared today. Like just left and didn't tell nobody he was leaving and he was gone. And you know, it was toward the end of the day, granted he had done you know, his work, but he gets there late. He leaves early, doesn't tell anybody. And then he's going to message me at 5.30 talking about, hey, we're all squared up. We're done for the day. Like, I don't know, and I haven't been made aware already that you fucking left at 4 o'clock and you didn't show up till 9.30. And I still gave that guy eight hours for today. I did. Because I didn't want to make a mountain out of a molehill and I, I didn't, and I got to pick and choose the battles. But... I just share this with you guys and ask you, what would you do in these situations? And I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, fuck these people, fire them. And you, you really just can't. When you're trying to build an empire or, you know, trying to expand your business, you need all the workers you can. And when you run it, when you got good workers, man, you can't get rid of them just because of trivial, tedious things. Will these trivial, tedious things be, you know, grow into bigger things? They could. Give an inch, take a mile type of a deal. Well, let me get away with that. Let me see if I can pull this one off. But like everything else, we'll cross those bridges when those bridges need to be crossed, if and when. Folks, that's it for today. Joe talks way too much. Overall, it was a really good day. The bottom line is probably going to look pretty decent. Probably did at least $600 for the day, if not seven profit. So that's a really good day. For this week thus far, I did six something, two something, three something, and then seven something, I'm thinking. So we're on track for a good little two stack week. Hope you enjoyed rocking with me today. I'm going to look forward to sharing more with y'all tomorrow. And until then, take care.